how did Will Smith or the whole Smith family become the biggest social media family on social media? I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, they're technically not the biggest social media family because the Kardashians kind of have that title. But, but, but... I would say they're probably the second biggest, right? They're probably the second biggest. And they're sort of like more respected than the Kardashians because they, because Will Smith was a big actor and Jada Pinkett is an actor and the kids are musicians slash actors. So I think they have a little bit more notoriety than the Kardashians. I mean, sure, the Kardashians are wildly famous, but obviously because of the situations with like how Kim got where she was and all of that stuff, there, there's a little bit of a taboo. And the fact that like she didn't necessarily have a talent that people understood as a talent, which is like being famous for doing nothing. There was not that much respect for Kim Kardashian. And there's probably a little bit of sexism going on there too. Either way, point is Will Smith, Jada Pinkett, Willow Smith, Jaden Smith, are dominating the space and uh, it, you know what it's really will that's it's really will but before we get into that don't forget to like follow subscribe all the above it really pushes this video on the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos this video is brought to you by brand video pro we help brands and influencers scale their influence and sales so so if that's of interest to you click the link down below head on over to our website and find out how we can help you we've got plenty of resources to help you with so let's begin I was just so impressed when he first came on social media and he made this whole big announcement. So let me see. Will Smith. What year was this? What year did Will Smith join Instagram? 2017. Wow. That was, you know what? Something about 2017. It was the year of growth, exponential growth. Like the internet is just not what it was in 2017. Like if I started this YouTube channel in 2017, it would be massive by now. But anyway, I digressed. I was still making content on YouTube in 2017, though. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Only four years. Only four years. And he's dumb. He's the biggest actor on social media. And what I love about it is not only does he do still do traditional movies, he's still a movie star and has a really top, hot movie coming out. But he's a YouTuber, too. What is he doing there? He's connecting with the traditional media people, so the older people, and he's also connecting with the younger people by being on YouTube and being on TikTok and being on Instagram. And then also because of he has the capital, he puts together the he puts together these really interesting innovative videos. Because he has the capital to do all the special effects and all that stuff. He has a team to make real engaging documentaries. It's a genius. And he's now put himself in the position where he owns his audience. Genius. And I don't know why more actors aren't doing this. I don't understand it. I don't get it. But he does have a production company. So he's not just an actor. He's a producer. But I don't get it. Because like it's in a way, it's kind of like how Jay-Z was forced to join social media to stay, I don't know if he did it to stay relevant, but it helps him become more relevant. But this is how Will Smith dominates in the media space, in the media landscape, because he's more relevant. Who, which actor is more important to like, uh, apart from like a young actor, but which traditional actor from like the old days of acting, right? <laughs> the olden days, pre-social media era is relevant to a 15 year old now. Do you think they know who Brad Pitt is? They might. Do they? Do you think they know who Will Smith is? Yes. Yes. And Brad Pitt's kids are the same age as Willow. Like some of his older kids, they're the same age as Willow Smith and Jade, uh, Jaden, maybe a little bit younger, some of them. So he could still have been relevant, but no, I'm not, I'm not, com I'm not coming for Brad Pitt or any actor that wants to keep their private life private. But I just think what's so interesting about Will Smith is that he understood being in the sitcom, making a sitcom, making Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And he's done that again in this modern era, which is a YouTube channel making these vlogs, but these high quality, well-produced vlogs. The thing about YouTube is that you have to make 
on commoditized content. You have to offer your audience something, the unique thing about you that only you can offer. And that's what makes you stand out as a YouTuber. That unique thing about you that only you can offer. And what is Will Smith's offering? He's the only person with the capital to pay VFX people to make well-produced, good stories into short form YouTube videos or YouTube vlogs. Who else does that? Who else has the capabilities that he has? Nobody, no one. And that's why he dominated as quickly as he did. And I don't know why other actors aren't doing this. Apart from the younger ones, the younger ones are doing it, but they don't have the capital Will Smith has to produce the stuff he produces. So I don't understand why they're not doing this. But also at the same time, I get how being a YouTuber can affect your acting career and prevent you from getting different roles. If people see you as the person that you are, as opposed to seeing you encompass those roles that you're playing. And it, it explains why someone like a Logan Paul probably struggled with his acting career. Um, even Jake Paul, even sort of like his acting career career died down. But I think what is people is what people are understanding now is that in media certain mediums have notoriety have respect and what i'm seeing happen is a shift right so i would say pre like let's say pre web right pre 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 the internet the top was always musicians right the people that are the most respected most renowned most celebrated musicians after them were actors but what's happening today is it's musicians first still musicians still dominate because their content is all on YouTube and stuff. We're consuming them on social media. So they're still dominating. But after musicians, it's YouTubers. Okay. Okay. Movie stars still dominate. There's still movie stars that are dominating like Tom Holland and Zendaya, but there's so few of them. When you think about the average actor on a TV series, I feel like more people will be happy to see a big YouTuber than to see like an actor on a TV series. Unless it's like you're on Game of Thrones. But even that, like what's the relevance of the actors on Game of Thrones right now compared to the relevance of like a big YouTuber? I don't know, but I just kind of feel like right now it's either already shifting or it's, it's, it's either already shifted or it's shifting, but YouTubers are taking over that space and now they're becoming more respected. And I'm talking about the big entertainment YouTubers, not like the average guys, but they're just becoming more respected than, um, actors in the, in the media space, in the media space. Um, and it's going to happen. It's going to completely solidify. You know, and it's only going to be the actors that are in the top, top, top shows. And when I say top shows, I'm talking about like Netflix shows, um, HBO shows, you know, those top shows that really hit and blow up that are going to maintain their sort of like respect and notoriety. But like those like random shows that are like maybe on like ABC or like Grey's Anatomy, like I'm not coming for anyone on Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> but like those ABC shows or like random like CW shows that no one cares. Does CW still exist? I don't know. But some random ass, some random channel, no one really cares about TV actors anymore. Not the way you used to back then. But eventually I think YouTubers are going to take and dominate the space. So I think that every single actor that has the capital should become a YouTuber and should vlog so that you can not control your audience, build your following, control your audience and maintain your fame. But some people don't want to be famous, which is fine. Anyway, that's Will Smith. That's one angle, but we haven't even talked about Jada Pinkett and her red table talk that like is always like in the news for some stuff. She says people love to come for her with her relationship with Will Smith, but what is so interesting about her is she's made it very clear that she sacrificed herself and sacrificed her career to make sure that Will became the biggest star he possibly could, right? And But now it's her time to shine in a way because she's now taking this still on social media, doing the show on Facebook, the only one with a real like well put together talk show on Facebook that people actually watch. Like I don't go on Facebook, but I'll go on Facebook to watch Red Table Talk, right? 
Uh, so she's like one of the few, like I feel like it's the only successful show on Facebook Watch, to be honest. I don't think, I don't know any other ones that are actually like super successful, but it's really interesting how she was able to do that, still find a space for her because her acting career was good. It's good, but it's not great, right? It's not great. But with Red Table Talk, now she's become something else. Um, and then the whole packaging of the whole family, like Jaden Smith, Willow Smith, we kind of watched them sort of like grow up and watch them sort of like dominate. So Jaden was more seen as an actor when he was younger and Willow more of a musician. Um, and now both of them are, are in music, but Willow sort of didn't. She's kind of like regaining her presence in music now because I, I think uh, after with my hair and she sort of like seemed to have like quit and then she started doing stuff underground. People weren't really paying attention. But now I think people have started now that she's entered the rock genre, pop rock genre. She's doing something different. It's interesting. And people are kind of watching. But Jaden actually made some waves with his music. He even has a song on Justin Bieber's latest album. And his music is dope. His music is really good. So either way, my point is, how did the Smith family become sort of the second biggest social media family? How did they do it? It's genius. I love it. And it kind of shows that you don't have to be, if you really want to to succeed on social media yes it takes it could be one person that does it but if you have a whole family doing it everyone's doing it you just become that much bigger oh let me just add in there that like what's interesting about there's only there's always gonna be one person that in the family that's the most famous like what we've seen right kim kardashian and uh will smith but everybody else is like equally famous or equally respected and so that's an interesting thing. So like, it's an interesting thing. So it's it's still worth it because when one person is slacking, like if Kim Kardashian wants to slack, she has like so many other sisters that can do something in the news and make her relevant again or make the family, keep the family relevant again. And it just shows, it's a testament to the fact that if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And the, another example of this is Jake Paul and Logan Paul. That's a great example. The fact that there are two of them in the family and their parents are kind of famous too. It's like they're going together. And because they're going together, they're going further. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, all the above. My name is Kenham and see you next time. A peace. <laughs>